Okay, I mean, what is happening right here? Uh, this look, appears like this is supposed to be a switch, so where's the communication? Okay, you can't just assume someone's switching. So, apparently that communication did not take place here. Okay, I mean, this Wizards player's got to try and box out. I mean, I don't know, the shot goes up, stop. Like, and now you got to immediately turn and box out. Like, I mean, you can't try? Uh, it's atrocious defense. Markel, so Markel Fultz just turned right now. So you got to make contact with him. Like you got to battle for positioning now. You cannot just let him back you down like this. There's no resistance here. Oh, and then we're going to gamble right there. Hey, if you're doubling at the rim here and Denny Avdi is clearly beat by uh, Paolo Banchero right here, stop. So this player's doubling. You, This player has to duck in in front. You got to get in front of this player here. Like, I don't, this drop-off pass is a real issue. Get your feet set. You are guarding Paolo Banchero here. This is not great. Look at your backpedaling. You have no chance of guarding like this. Or you can now look. What is this Wizards player doing? You're trapping here. You have to get up here. You can't let this pass get made. This player right here is two passes away. All right? But once you let this pass get made, which for some reason you do, now it's one pass. Obviously cannot guard like this. You are just staring at the ball. No idea what your man is doing. Mean, are you really serious with that? Okay, so Corey Kispert is totally destroyed by Cole Anthony right now. So either he can work to get on his side just to force him into this help right here, or this player's got to leave like right now. And then this player would have to slide down right now. And then again, you rotate here and then Kispert would ultimately come back out here. But you have to beat Cole Anthony to the spot, and it's just not happening. Corey Kispert, you cannot lean towards this screen early. Look at Corey Kispert leaning towards this screen right there. Boom. Well, uh, you're too early, so now you're out of position. When this player turns the corner, you have no chance. Okay, I mean, there's really no need to switch this right here. But if you are switching this, you have to get underneath the screener. This is absurd. Look at this. You do not need a backside defender when you're switching. It's ridiculous. Organized in transition. Who's taking the ball? Someone's got to say something. This player wants to take the ball, then say it. And so this player knows, okay, I got to go someplace else. But we got two people guarding the ball for way too long. And you got to communicate and transition. This is ridiculous. There are two Wizards players here. So why is Monty Morris not going to Markel Fultz? I mean, what, how did that just happen? What is the Wizards' problem in transition? Corey Kispert, like, okay, this player's guarding here, so Kispert has to fly up here. Where on earth is Corey, well, what on earth? I mean, Kendrick Nunn has got to do a little bit better than this. So Paulo Banchero's posting you up. So get up and battle for positioning. Like, that's that's how it works. Like, look at Kendrick Nunn. You, you, this is too easy. Like, he just dictated exactly where he wanted to go. Wizards are in a zone here. There is no communication going on. So if if uh, Taj Gibson's coming to take Caleb Houston here, then you got to say that so that this player knows, okay, I got, I'm taking this area, you need to stay up here. Kendrick Nunn, I guess, is going here. But again, look at the communication. Does that look like great communication when running a zone? <laughs> Another horrendous switch. You cannot switch early like this. Guard the ball. When this player comes off the screen, you can switch. Okay? Look at this Wizards player. He already conceded a switch. Well, this player hasn't come off the screen yet, so that means this player's not ready to guard. And that's a huge issue. How many things can DeLone Wright do wrong on one possession? Let's see. Well, first of all, he's going to feel out a screen that never gets set. That's a problem. So now you're off balance guarding the ball. Look at this. And then, oh, let's mix in a really terrible gamble while we're at it. Okay, I mean, if the Wizards are trapping your stop, then this backside defender's got to move. Like, you got to get up here, okay? We're not worried about this player here two passes away because this player can rotate over. But once this pass gets made, I mean, now the Magic have numbers, and it, it is not good. It's totally preposterous that DeLone Wright would go under this screen. Look at the—go over. 
You're going a little too far under, I think. Stop fronting the post. You don't need to. Get underneath. Battle for position right here. When you're fronting the post, look what happens. So Paulo Banchero sets the screen. Well, he's pretty much screening two Wizards players. So now this player's got to come over. and. So we have three people guarding the ball. You think that someone's going to be open from that? 